Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 15. Is your work fireproof? Paul writes, According to the grace of God which was given to me, as a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another builds on it. So Paul came into Corinth, and remember, we're reading Paul's letter. We are reading someone else's mail here. We are reading Paul's letter to the believers in the city of Corinth, okay? So remember, Paul comes in to Corinth, and he preaches the gospel. He laid a foundation. Now someone else is there building upon that foundation. But let each man be careful how he builds on it. So once you get to know the Lord, or once you get saved, once you get a calling of God upon your life, be careful how you build upon that foundation. For no one can lay any other foundation than that which has been laid, which is Jesus Christ. But if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay, or stubble, each man's work will be revealed for the day. Notice this, the term the day. This is talking about the day of the Lord, the great and terrible day of the Lord, the day of judgment, the day of wrath, the day of fire. For the day will declare it because it is revealed in fire. And the fire itself will test what sort of work each man's work is. If any man's work remains, which he built on it, he will receive a reward. But if any man's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, but as through fire. You got a foundation. You have a foundation of Yeshua, of Jesus. You have a foundation of of the word. You have a foundation and you are building on it. Believe it or not, whether you know it or not, you are building on that foundation. The question is, how are you building on it? Are you using fireproof materials or are you spending your time doing things that really doesn't matter? Once it's all said and done, once your life is done and over, the scroll is rolled up, so to speak, the book of your life closes, so to speak, what are you doing today that makes a difference? What are you doing today that will survive the fire? There are a lot of people who are building with wood, hay, and stubble, things that will not last in the day of judgment. You need to build with gold, with silver, with costly stones. That is the purified faith that you have. Purified faith, purified character through all of the tests and trials and hardships. So may God bless you with wisdom that you will make the right decisions and that you will be strong enough to withstand the fire, the trials, the testings, the hardship that you and your faith will be like purified gold on that day, the great day of the Lord. Until then, seek him with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. And what a glorious thing that would be. Call upon him. He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.